As you begin the, watching this tutorial, I'm assuming that you've either watched or are familiar with the content in the Setting Up GarageBand uh, video that I created that teaches you how to uh, get GarageBand all set up for recording this intro for the assignment. To start recording your voice, you'll see down at the bottom of the screen, there's some basic controls that you'll find on any recording software. Uh, this is the record button, then you have play, this takes you to the very beginning of a track, and this is fast forward and rewind or move ahead and move back. We begin by clicking record. Hello, this is Adam Cochran, and this is a GarageBand tutorial. <coughs> we'll put a cough in there. Thank you very much for listening to this introduction. And then we can stop it. Now you can either stop it by hitting the stop button, which is the little square at the bottom, or you can hit the space bar. Either one will stop the recording. Now we're ready to go back and listen to it. Hello, this is Adam Cochran, and this is a GarageBand tutorial. <coughs> we'll put a cough in there. Thank you very much for listening to this introduction. So you've listened to that now, and you know that there were some mistakes that were made. Uh, there's a long beginning there with uh, some dead air, and then of course you had the cough, and my little narration about the cough. And uh, we want to join those up and make that a little tighter introduction. So to edit this track, you just double click on the file. Or double click on this little graphic up here. That will bring up this area, which is a closer look at all of the stuff that you did. So you can see it graphically there on the screen. So we want to edit out the stuff that uh, is basically just wasted space. You'll notice down here is the area where you edit. And as you move your icon up or down, as you move your mouse up or down on the screen, you'll see that the cursor changes. This is not the cursor you want. So as you see this cursor, that's a no-no. You want to come down here to where you have the uh, crossbars there, or the plus sign. To delete, you just select the area that you don't want. Just drag across it while holding your left mouse button down. Now you'll delete it. Then you can come back over here and you can listen to that file. Now if it bothers you, if this blank space bothers you, you can come up to the very top up here, grab your file, click and hold on your left mouse button, and drag it over to the far left. That brings you back over. Now you'll notice the red bar here that shows you where you're at. It coincides with where this one's at, but it may bother you that they're slightly off. You can come over here to this little square that has two triangles in it, and click, and that will align everything up so that as you play it, it plays together. Cochran, and this is a GarageBand tutorial. <coughs> we'll put a cough in there. Thank you very much for listening ready to go back and delete that cough so you can see where that cough took place and you can even listen to it to make sure we're in the right place garage band tutorial <coughs> you can see that right here is where that cough begins you can zoom in if you really want to get in close you can drag this bar and zoom in very close and place the mouse exactly where you want it you have another slider bar up here that lets you see your entire project closer or further away. But this one right here slides us in down here, so we're editing. So now that I've got that selected, I'm going to click and hold, and I'm just going to drag to right there. I imagine that's where we're at, and so we're going to hit delete on the keyboard, and that takes away that little space. We can drag up here and connect it. Now let's listen and see what we have. We'll put a cough in there. Thank you very much. We still have a section we want to remove. So we're going to click and hold down here again with the plus sign. And you drag it and get rid of all of that extra stuff. Click delete and then we come back here to the top and drag those files together. Now it's okay if they overlap a little bit, but you can avoid that overlap by zooming in closer and then moving them so they touch. So this is what it sounds like. Hello, this is Adam Cochran, and this is a GarageBand tutorial. Thank you very much for listening to this introduction. 
Now, if you want to, you can go back and delete that dead air at the end as well. And you're all set. That should get your voiceover recorded and edited.